Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So we talked about Hasbro's cinematic universe in the past and how yeah. all of it sounds terrible. Um, looks like Mask has found its um, director, I believe. Uh, Paramount, and this is from ComingSoon.net, Paramount F... Stop jumping around. F. Gary Gray to bring Hasbro's Mask to the big screen. I'm like, okay, who's this guy? Who's this guy? Cool. Um, he's done some weird things. Things that are like completely not... He did Straight Outta Compton and, and uh, Friday. Really great movies. Rated R movies, very yeah. adult, but good movies. Then he also did uh, the Fast and Furious franchise movies. Oh, okay. And uh, things like Terminator and the Ouija films. Just all kinds of stuff. Mm. But we're talking a Hasbro toy cartoon license so we're gonna lean more towards transformers not so much straight out of compton no yeah <laughs> that's probably not or worse. friday <laughs> or friday damn <laughs> <laughs> you know the pig's feet um i i see disaster because like i barely remember mask I remember the toys yeah. more than the cartoon. They're finding General Mayhem, and the organization they're finding is called Venom. That's really big. And they have these masks that give them abilities. Yeah, like they have like... um, that gives them fire. Like there's a guy who's like a firefighter. It's yeah. It was the crappy version of G.I. Joe. Joe. It just was. Yeah, it's like if you compare Transformers to GoBots. Yeah. GoBots is a crappy That's like that's a perfect, perfect... Yeah. So this is going to be a movie... Guys, like we, we've talked about He Man in the past. We talked right, about yeah. what do you do with this? Do you go silly? You have to go silly. Or do you go like hardcore action film? Like, yeah, do I want another rampage? I mean, my goodness. Well, yeah, a lot of people serious. said they had fun with the film, but it was stupid. Well, I'm tired of stupid. Yeah, I want my yeah. film to at least have a little bit of confidence. Yeah, not make so much. Oh, I found these masks. Yeah. They put them on. The, the only good about masks for me, honestly, is the theme song, which <laughs> that's nothing to do with the movie. And, but the, that's it. and the toys were kind of cool yeah, because they could cool. transform and stuff. I have the General Mayhem uh, vehicle. The yeah, the helicopter. Which yeah. is pretty cool. But outside of that, I don't even remember their, their human, like their names. Do you remember any of these guys' names? I I, I remember the one where the kid, he had the little robot that could transform into like a vehicle, like a motorcycle. That's pretty cool. And he had like a, he looked like the robot from Black Hole on Disney, you know, from Disney movie okay. with the eyes and everything. Okay, what does, mask is an acronym, what does it stand for? Oh my wow, god. Wow, wow. That's a big million dollar <laughs> name. Right. Nope. It stands for Mobile Armor Strike Command. It can mask out with a K. Oh. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Matt, you, could funny. you imagine if they had that in the movie and it's like, why is combat with the K? Yeah, it fought against the criminal organization of Venom, which stands for Vicious Evil Network of Mayhem. Oh, my goodness. So The franchise ran for three years and Hasbro spawned a variety of products, including action figures, animated series, comic I actually books. had the base where it was the gas station and it transformed. So, so they didn't even try to name, like, okay, so we have Cobra. What can we name it similar? Venom? Okay. Boo! <laughs> you know, like, come on. Guys, well, I... work one time. I ain't gonna work twice, buddy. <laughs> Here's the thing. I The first J.I. Joe live-action film, it was... Again, it was stupid, but I liked it. The second one was not bad. It was okay. It was a yeah. solid. And again, it's easy to make G.I. Joe okay. Bad guy, soldier, fighting these people. Mass a little bit more. I don't know. I don't think you can make that into I'm a I'm seeing story. a lot of CGI. I'm seeing a lot of stupid, silly jokes. And I don't know where they go with this. What Mask, again, like was it Mask and Visionaries? <laughs> I like Visionaries. <laughs> but that's, I don't know if I'd go see that. But even I think that's even better than this. I mean, at this point, you're actually going to Micronauts territory. Yeah, okay? Just and that's silly. the dude. They do Micronauts. Yeah. They do ROM. No one the Space Rom. Knight. Why no are they picking that? such odd, weird... Not, they weren't bad, but they were just really out everyone there. Everyone wants, like I said a million times before, everyone wants to copy the Cinematic Universe of Marvel. And they want to have a team-ups. And that's, that's I'd rather see a Silverhawks movie. Remember those yeah, guys? Yeah, Silverhawks yeah, yeah. wasn't bad. It was just okay. What was it? Was it Space Rangers? What are yeah, that Space Rangers. Rangers. Space Rangers was cool, too. Yeah, I like that. that, that, that the, you had the Indian guy, and you had like, the cow, classic cowboy guy. And he would, he would do facts at the end of the oh, show. Oh, yeah, the too. one the one. Yeah, he got his abilities. He's a, he's a chief to remember that in outer space. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. I kinda, that was like a precursor to Trigun to me. Yeah, it was a really cool world yeah. it was future but it was still wild west yeah, yeah i remember it was funny because one of the end, last episodes like this asteroid is as big as texas and it actually showed like i was like guess like at the end it had like a that's the hasbro's way of getting around the fcc saying these these shows have no value oh we throw in a little faq thing at the end <laughs> teaching you about something oh look there's an education well, yeah, the best you know yeah the psa the, yeah. the battle. like oh if, uh, the, the sun is this far away from the earth and like they'd always do some like stupid little science thing but that was their way of getting around like the education protocols yeah. so they could have it after school Oh, it tell kids things. Oh, yeah. They really learned a whole lot yeah. of freaking math. That's what Snake Eyes did. He just had to give you a look, and then you knew what he was talking yeah. about. That's why Snake Eyes so cool. He's going to give you a little nod, because he's, he's, okay, not, he's, he's that cool. He's pointing at it. I'm looking at this picture. This guy look like Juggernaut. 
kind of. <laughs> Gotta have to yeah. check it out. Look to him. Oh, he's the one on the right. Yeah. In the middle. So, um, I don't know. I don't see this going anywhere. I really don't. I see it bombing. And no hope for Rom the Space Knight. Micronauts, <laughs> no, no, nothing. No more hope for they do. Why don't you just make an animated movie? I think that would be better yeah. than live action. Because the Transformer films, I mean, Bumblebee solo film, it's just so stupid. Yeah, yeah it, but Transformers make money, but it ain't good. I'll just say that right now. That's well, not I, good. I, I really don't see how Bumblebee a uh, solo movie is going to make any money. And I, I don't know what they're going with this. Does it take place after all the Transformer yeah, films? I guess so. I hate to say it, your big breadwinner when it comes to movies right now might be My Little Pony. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? They said so funny they kept that out of this uh, cinematic universe. Come on, put it all together. <laughs> well, I want Rainbow Bright, damn it. I want it all. I want, I want Max riding Rainbow Bright into battle. Yeah, that'd be great. And her oh, little unicorn. Right, Rainbow Bright. Remember her, um, was it her cousin? He had like the metal horse? Yeah. That was cool looking. I don't care what anyone says. This horse was cool. Mm-hmm. Even though it was cool. in a, uh, we need a strawberry shortcake. That's another one we yeah, need. A pie yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He gives you diabetes. That's his power. And pound puppies. And yeah, just and pound puppies, yeah. You know what? I don't care what anyone says. The, the remake of Pound Puppies, the TV show, is actually pretty funny. It, it has some silly jokes, but it actually has a little bit of heart, too. And I guess it's already been canceled. Yeah, it's already been canceled. Yeah, but I thought I know, it they did. tried to remake a Care Bears, too, and I think... And that, that bombed, too. Yeah, yeah, well, the only we, remake that's, that's lasted is Little's Pet Shop and My Little Pony. Pony. Yep. Yeah. Everything else is kind of falling apart in Transformers because that's always going to be around. Yeah. Do you see Mask and Visionaries coming back and just being that cool thing? No. No. Maybe and I don't think this is going to... Maybe mm. it had Jim Carrey behind it. Yeah, if it was the Mask of Jim Carrey, that'd be better. <laughs> oh, I know, right? He comes on Somebody he's... stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's so what Hasbro needs to say that. Somebody stop, <laughs> Somebody stop it. <laughs> but he goes, no, really stop me, stop me. Seriously, stop me. <laughs> that's terrible. Uh. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast.